Hello again, it's Steve Brzezetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements in part three of our tutorial on cutting and pasting objects or people from one photo into another photo. What we did in parts one and two was we manually cut out the picture of this baby and pasted it into this background, the swimming pool. Here in part three, we're going to use a guided edit. We'll select guided edits wonderful library of guided edits here that can take you step by step through a, a number of effects go to the photo merge category and what we're looking at is photo merge compose which as you can see indicated here is for exactly cutting someone from one picture putting them into another so we'll select that and it says which picture do you want to cut from well we want the baby so we'll drag the baby up here from the photo bin right on to and now we're all set to go. It walks us through the process of photo merging and it tells us the first thing we do is to select a selection tool and indicate the area we want to cut and paste. Now the quick selection tool, which I click on it, we get a little definition of how the tool works. I click OK and the quick selection tool will, as we saw in part one, will select your object based on its color range and how it contrasts with the color of the background. And of course, if we select too much, we can hold down the Alt key and paint over the too much until we get just the area we want. And as you'll see, once again, we're gonna be using a layer mask. So if we make a mistake or we select too much or too little, we can always refine it even after we cut and paste from one picture to another. Now, once again, we have our issue with these curls up here. Also going to select over here on the right, the Advanced Edge Refinement button. And when I click that, I can click simply Refine Edge, and we get our Refine Edge tool, which we used in our other exercise. I'm going to zoom in by using Control Plus or Command Plus. We'll get up here to these baby curls. And now we're going to select our Edge Detection tool. And I'm just going to sort of paint over those curls again. Paint over any area where the curls appear. There we go, above the baby's head. Got lots of crazy curls sticking out here. Then you can see as I paint over there, they are selected. And it looks like it's done a pretty good job. And once we're satisfied with our selection, we just simply click OK. So there's our selection. Now we go down to the bottom right of the panel and click on the Next button. And there it automatically cut the baby and pasted him into the swimming pool picture. Now this picture is masked. It's once again, we didn't cut the baby. It's masked. The entire background here of him sitting on the stairway is still there. So we can add and subtract any elements we want. But in the meantime, we're just gonna position the baby. And by dragging on corner handles, we can make them larger or smaller. Let's put them right here. And now you can see we have these little tools here for doing some touch up. If there are things I wanna hide, like for instance, under the baby's left arm here we have a little bit of extra selection I can just paint right over it it's actually we're painting on the layer mask over here on his arm also on the, on his right our left we're gonna paint right over there if I painted too much I can select reveal and unpaint or remove some of the mask until I get the picture exactly how I, I want it to appear we're looking pretty good. Those curls look pretty good and natural. He's kind of naturally into the picture. And I'm going to click the next button. And when I select that, look what we've got. Uh, color matching, just as we did manually. Uh, when we use the levels to bring up the blue level just a little bit so that he matches the background, this has an auto match color tone button. Let's see how nicely the auto match works click on that and it's going to look at the background which is that swimming pool and it's going to take his color uh, characteristics and it's going to change those levels so that he is the same color as the background there we go it even brought up the contrast a little bit to match the background and that actually looks pretty good so we've pasted the baby into the background and here in the guided edit you have options if you click next for how you output your picture. You can actually save it as a picture or a photo file, or there are built right into all of the guided edits, tools for uploading directly to Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, and SmugMug, whatever you want to do. So pretty cool. 
as I say, you have options. You can either use the manual method, the old fashioned way as uh, the ex in the expert mode, as people like me tend to do, or uh, you can use the wonderful photo merge tools, which are well worth checking out. All of the guided edits are well worth checking out and the program will walk you through the process. Anyway, if you want to know more about all these tools and how they work and what we did and why they did what they did, look at all the tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about everything in the program, the moviepix.com guide to Photoshop elements and Premiere elements. That's a wonderful uh, 500 page bundled book. Really terrific and very, very thorough. Uh, and if you have any questions, boy, just let me know at our community forum at moviepix.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again real soon.